Hello, good evening, and welcome to the Schlocky Horror Picture Show. I'm your host, Nigel Honeybone. Do I have a treat for you this week? If treat means what you do with raw sewage, that is. Some films are so bad they're good, meaning fun or entertaining or at least interesting. But few films can claim to be so bad that you actually feel physical pain while watching them. This is one. I'm convinced everyone in tonight's film suffers attention deficit disorder. They continually flub lines, miss cues, stare into the camera, or aren't even aware they're on camera for the first few seconds of many shots. If you watch carefully, you'll also see the occasional clapperboard or director Hal Warren mouthing the word cut a few times before transitions, and there's a cavalcade of uncomfortable silences while actors wait for their cues. So take the batteries out of that remote control and put them to better use as we sit back and enjoy the 1966 root canal known as Manos, the Hams of Fat. I mean the Hands of Fate. What unspeakable evils have been unleashed? What soul-wrenching things will warp your mind to wake you screaming in the night? That's right, it's time for the ads. But fear not, I'll be back directly with more of the Schlocky Horror Picture Show and the relative safety of Manos, the hands of Fritz. No sloppy hoes, holiday no changing clothes. Holiday, wash your car the modern way. Wash and shine with... Holiday, the car washing cream with the built-in shine. The shine that looks a foot deep. Johnson's Holiday washes, deep cleans, and polishes safely, easily. Leaves a shine that looks a foot deep. Wash your car the modern way. Wash and shine with Holiday. Welcome back to the Schlocky Horror Picture Show. Needless to say, no one involved with the production of Manos the Hems of Frock ever worked in the film industry before or since. In fact, four of tonight's actors had committed suicide within a year of the film's release. John Reynolds, Diane Marie, Sherry Proctor, and Joyce Malheur. Everyone worked without pay, but were promised huge percentages of the profits. You can guess how that worked out. Fertiliser salesman Hal Warren met award-winning screenwriter Sterling Siliphant while scouting for film locations. Sterlo was given an Oscar for his script for In the Heat of the Night, and had it taken away again for writing The Poseidon Adventure, The Towering Inferno, and The Swarm for my old friend Erwin Allen. Next day, Hal somehow got it into his head that he could give up the joyous world of fertiliser and make a movie just as good as anybody else in Hollywood, which is, of course, high-grade fertiliser in itself. After scribbling a script on the back of an ice cream wrapper, he rounded up a few college kids like Diane Marie to play his wife, he would play the husband Michael, and threw in child actress Jackie Nyman as Little Debbie, which proved to be useful as her mum made all the costumes and her pet puppy played the hell dog. Her father, Tom Nyman, plays Frank Zappa, I mean the master, and Hal found some actors at the local community theatre, including John Reynolds who plays Torgo the satyr. John made the legs himself out of metal framing, but they're never really seen properly. They were extremely painful to wear, which led to his becoming addicted to painkillers, much like I will be after the show. Unfortunately, the camera that Hal chose to use was a 16mm Bell & Hal model that had to be cranked by hand, meaning that it could only record for about 30 seconds at a time. That explains most of the editing, though not all of it can be blamed on the camera. To make matters worse, it couldn't record sound, so all the dialogue and sound effects were dubbed in later. Little Jackie cried when she first heard her own recorded voice, much like I did when I first saw this film, or would have if I had tear ducts, or eyes. Anyway, $20,000 later and voila! Hal somehow managed to get Manos booked into an actual cinema and even got a fair amount of publicity in the local press. However, at the first showing, audience laughter prompted the cast and crew to sneak out halfway through. But I don't want to give you any ideas. Stay right where you are and prepare yourself for the nullifying climax of Manos, the Hans of Light. If you really don't like the movie, you can always slash the seats. That'll show them. We're almost there, honey. Just a little while longer than your vacation starts. I'm getting cold, Mother, and hungry. We 
should be pretty close right now. The agent said it was about 12 miles from Highway 10, and that was Highway 10 back there. But you know, we should have asked for better directions at the last gas station. Listen, I've never gotten us lost before. Mommy, I'm cold. Okay, Debbie, I'll put the top up. Never mind, Mike. Debbie can come up and sit between us. Now that's better, baby. Why don't we sing a song to help pass the time? Hmm? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Merrily, 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 life is down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. I see you have a taillight problem. No excuse. Running late, first vacation, kid getting tired. That's too bad. Well, can't you give us a break, officer? Well, all right, all right. I sure do appreciate it. We are running kind of late. Okay, but if you're running late, you should have started earlier. Anyhow, no taillight. Have it fixed. Thank you, officer. Now look, the sign pointed this way. 
Mark, let's go back to the crossroads and ask those kids we saw. Okay, okay, but I know we can't be wrong. Look, the sign pointed this way. doing something wrong. Well, whatever it is you're not doing, go don't do it somewhere else. Why don't you guys leave us alone? Come on now, no wisecracks. Just go on home. Okay. Get going, get going. All right already. I could have sworn we didn't make a wrong turn. You must have. Where did the road go? No need to get upset. We'll find it. Where did this place come from? It wasn't here a few minutes ago. I don't care. Let's see if we can get some directions. Look, there's someone at the door. Torgo, I take care of the place while the master is away. But the child, I'm not sure the master would approve, or the dog. The master doesn't like children. We only want to know where Valley Lodge is. Which way do we go? There is no place like that around here. Mike, I'm scared. It's getting dark. Well, Targo, which way is out of here? There is no way out of here. It will be dark soon. There is no way out of here. 
No way out. Well, you know, we, we could spend the night here, and then oh, tomorrow my, we could... My... I don't want to spend the night here. I don't like the looks of the place. Well, it seems we have no alternative. Well, how about it, Torgo? Can we spend the night here? Well, I don't know what else we can do. But, Mike, I don't want to stay here. And the master wouldn't approve. Well, don't worry about it. We're here now, and I'm sure the master won't throw us out. Well, how about it, Torgo? I don't want to stay. Let's leave. I don't know about it. I just don't know. Torgo, in or out? Patient, dear. Very well. The master will be very disturbed. I'll get the, the luggage. Torgo, we'll stay tonight and then tomorrow. You we'll... must be. You cannot stay. The master would not uh, approve. <laughs> See, you're feeling better already. Look at this. be the master himself. Oh, Mike, I'm scared. He has the meanest look. That dog. I'd hate to run up on him in the dark or even in the light for that matter. must be your master. Where did you say he was? He has left this world. But he is with us always. No matter where we go, he is with us. What? No matter where he goes? What does that mean? That dog is the most vicious looking animal I've ever seen. Well, I hope he goes where the master goes. There is nothing to fear, madam. The master likes you. Nothing will happen to you. He likes you. Likes me? I thought you said he was dead. 
Dead? No, madam, not dead the way you know it. He is with us always. Not dead the way you know it. He is with us always. Mike, I don't like this. Nothing to worry about. It's only your imagination. I think that it's best that I show you to the bedroom now. Oh, my God. Mike, what was that? Probably some animal in the desert. Nothing to be afraid of. I'm scared, Mike. Michael, I don't care what it is. Chase it away. Okay, if it'll make you relax, I'll go out and see what it is. What happened? I heard... Stay here. Get back into the house. Get back in the house, damn it. My God, Mike, what happened? He's dead. Peppy's been killed. Get back in the house, honey. Mike, what kind of place is this? My God, what kind of place is this? I'll take care of everything, honey. Get back in the house. What could have done it? Uh, honey, it was probably some animal from the desert. This place must be full of them. Peppy? You went away, baby. You went away while you were asleep. Mike, I want to leave this place. Now. Okay, honey, we'll leave right away. Where the hell is that caretaker? Cargo! Cargo! Did you want me? We're leaving. Would you mind putting the luggage back in the car? As you wish. Right now. Fast, damn it. Fast! I'll be glad to leave. I've had all of this place I want. Madam, it will be very dangerous to leave now. The master wants you. Wants me? What kind of talk is that? He wants you for his wife. 
He loves beautiful women. wants you, but he can't have you. I want you. Stop that talk this instant, you hear? He wants you, but he can't have you. <laughs> Madam. I meant no harm. Forgive you? Just wait till I tell my husband. I meant no harm, madam. I'll protect you. I'll protect you. Very well. I won't tell my husband. Now let me out. Hey, Maggie, the damn car won't start. Margaret? Damn car won't start. Well, that really fixes things. What are we going to do now? I don't know, and I couldn't find anything wrong with it either. Hey, Torgo, where's the phone? Yes, Alexander Graham Bell, you know, telephone? There is none, sir. The master doesn't approve of such devices. The, then where is the nearest phone? The nearest phone is at the crossroads. That's ten miles. Ten miles? Might as well be ten thousand miles. Easy, honey. It won't help to get mad. <sighs> the master won't mind you staying tonight. He has no choice. We can't leave. We can't walk out of here. The damn car won't start. Hm. I'll just bring the bags back to the room. Sinister. Sinister isn't descriptive enough. Honey, we'll leave in the morning and soon this place will be forgotten. Forgotten? I'll never forget. Peppy's gone. I just hope Debbie will understand. She'll understand. She's my baby. She'll understand. I hope so, darling. I sure hope so. She's my baby. She'll understand. Say, where is she? Oh, my God! Michael! Well, don't get wrought up. She's probably playing hide-and-seek. Okay, Debbie, we see you. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Maybe she slipped into one of the rooms. Debbie? Debbie! 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 Torgo, have you seen Debbie? No. She's gone. Help us find her. She couldn't have gone outside. The door's bolted. For God's sake, don't panic. She's got to be in here. Is there another exit to the outside? In the kitchen. That door's bolted, too. Outside, Mike. She's got to be outside. All right, we'll look outside for her. Debbie? 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 
Mike, I'm scared. The animals and the desert. Cut it out. <laughs> We'll find her. Don't worry. <laughs> Debbie? Debbie? dog from the portrait. Stand back, Debbie. Stand back. <laughs> Darling, baby, you could have been hurt. <laughs> but you should never run away from us. Debbie, don't ever run away from us. Where did you find the new dog, baby? In a big place. In a big place? Where, Debbie? There was a big, dry place. It was so dark, but I wasn't afraid of the dark. I had all kinds of funny people in it. Where is the place, Debbie? Over here, Daddy. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Get in the bedroom and lock yourself in. I'm going to find Torgo. He's got some explaining to do. Hurry, please, hurry. I want her. She's mine, mine, mine. Do you hear? I want this one. You have all the wives you need. She's mine. Look! Oh, you pretty ones. Let me see how good you are. I won't need you anymore. I have my own wife. I won't have to come in here to dream of having one of you. You, you're the worst. You were his first wife. He doesn't want you anymore. Now even I don't want you. with all of you.
Again, how many times do you have to be told? Like, wow. Yeah. Have a heart, will you? Go chase that other couple. What other couple? Those idiots that went deeper in the desert. Find them and chew on them a while. We know that this road goes nowhere. So now get. No smart stuff. We ain't trying to jump on you. Just get. Thou of primal darkness. Thou who dwellest in the depth of the universe in the black chasms of night. the darkness upon thy faithful to live eternally in her keeping thou dost make him most blessed forever and thou who dost curse with eternal burning light those who transgress against thee holy art thou holy art thou holy art thou manos will be done thy priesthood remains steadfast thy priesthood remains constant thy priesthood remains righteous Thou hast taught us, O Manos, and we have listened. Give ear to our words, O Manos, and hear us. Hear us, hear us, for we are faithful, and thou art our God. Arise, my wives, give ear to the words of Manos. Arise, my wives, and hear the will of Manos. Why has the child been brought here? Why? And a female child at that. She will grow up to be a woman. And as the oldest of the wives, I demand that she will live. It doesn't matter she was brought here, she must be killed. The child will live, she will grow up to be a woman. And as the oldest of the wives, I... I have never complained about sacrificing a man. But a child? The woman is all we want. The others must die. They all must die. We do not even want the woman. The child is a female. She must not be destroyed. She will grow up to be a woman. She must be killed. No. I am the no. oldest of the wives, no. and it is my no. privilege to say that. Enough! Enough of this stupid bickering. A child must die. If you persist in this foolishness, your usefulness will have come to an end. Say what you will, I will have no part of this madness. She lives. No, I say yes. she must die. No, I don't know what they're no, doing here in the first child. place. Yes. Torgo should never have allowed them in, and I want... You have caused enough trouble. I think perhaps your service to us is at its end now. Silence! Silence! <laughs> and now, my wives, I shall deal with the one who is responsible for the child being here. Torgo! He's the one! Get Torgo! You are responsible for this nonsense. We shall dispose of you later.
is a terrible mistake. The man, yes. The child, no. Maybe she's right. Maybe we should spare the child. It is against our will that we stay here. Do not make the child die to satisfy him. He does not need any more wives. Yes, he has no more time. Older wives, just the newest, huh? Jealousy is not part of us. Why are you so jealous of me? You are a troublemaker. You deserve to die. Die? I may die, but I do not care. The child must live. She is right. We will not kill the child. But Manos would not approve. The law of Manos exists for us only. Manos loves women. She will grow up to be a woman. She may. When the master hears of this, he will be furious. You are all mad, mad, the whole lot of you. The man, yes. The child, no. What are you doing here? You have failed us, Torgo. I know of your visits to the tomb. My visits? The women have told me. They may not be able to say anything or move when you're there. But they remember everything you say to them. And everything you do to them. But, Master, you have six wives. Why can't I have one for myself? You are not one of us. Therefore, you cannot have one of them. Yes, but I have one now. This one is mine. You will never get her. You have failed us, Torgo. For this, you must die. Fail you? No. You have failed yourselves. You never kill them. I'll help them. You have failed, and you must die.
<laughs> Manos, God of primal darkness, as thou hast decreed, so have I done. The hands of fate have doomed this man. Thy will is done. one. She has upset all of our plans. This foolishness must stop. been enough trouble. Our purpose must be served. There will be no further insolence. But the child... We cannot kill a child. Yes, we can. You have caused enough trouble. As soon as we have disposed of Torgo, we shall take care of you. Your power fails you. I have no more fear. Seize her and prepare her for sacrifice.
Well done, my wives. The will of Manus shall be served. He be sacrificed. Open the door. Margaret, open the door. Enough. The ceremony is done. doesn't help anymore. You're all finished. <laughs> Okay, honey, we'll leave, we'll leave. We've got to leave now. 
I can't stand it any longer. Please, Mike. We'll hide in the desert. Someone will help. The gods will destroy you. Your power fails. You cannot endure. Destroy. <laughs> the gods destroy me. <laughs> <laughs> Destroy me. I am permanent. Minos has made me permanent. Your power fails you. You are losing your control. Even Torgo defied you. And he was destroyed even as you shall be. Your power does not affect me anymore. Even your other wives do not trust you. <laughs> See, I do not fear you, even though you beat me. Beat me again. Beat! Beat! <laughs> I do not fear you. <laughs> We'll make it. Let's go. <laughs> Nothing up that way. Let, let, let's go this way. No, Maggie, we can make it. We'll rest here for a minute. We can make it. Let's go back. They'll never think of looking for us at the house. You know, you might have a point there. Please, Mike, please, I can't go any farther. Listen, we can lock ourselves in the kitchen. I have my gun.
We'll have to go back. Okay. It might be the safest place, especially since they're out here looking for us. Girl, I'm scared. Where's my puppy? Please, Debbie, not now. That sure sounded like shots. We'd better check. This hour of the night, there can't be anybody out here. This is the boondock. Well, sound does travel a long way at night. It could be clear over in Mexico, for that matter. But this one should be great. Yeah, the gang's coming up for the weekend. What a blast. Hmm. I am Michael. I take care of the place while the master is away.
Is the thing that I cannot do Yet I know It is very true I'm forgetting you Remembering I together Congratulations, you have just endured Manos, The Hands of Felt, Quentin Tarantino's favourite comedy of all time. By the way, the only person to gain anything out of this terrifying experience was little Jackie. She got a new bicycle, and all she had to do was to become the eight-year-old bride of Satan. (laughs) Standard Hollywood contract, really. I sold my soul and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. Enough crying over spilt blood. Please join me next week when I have another opportunity to give your cinematic sensibilities a damn good thrashing with the ugly stick on the schlocky horror picture show. Toodles!